Remember, Bill, a moment's vigilance will determine our fate. This time, I'm going to introduce my personal assistant of over 30 years. Okay, this is Morgan Fay. I got the Morgan. Okay, so we're going to show you handshake clear, monkey chop, and transfer with a body change. Just a very slight variation. Now, you were watching me strike the dummy, so you know there's a little force applied here. But in this particular case, we're going to make it easy on you. So, here comes the big strike. Oh, here comes that hand check. I'm going to cut this bill. Look at this hand is already in motion and moving. We're going to apply pressure to the elbow. This is pretty easy. Now, if I was going to include walking the dog in this technique, it would simply bring up, like I showed you on the tire, placing my body, moving her forward. That is the technique you should practice. We'll call it hand check, clear monkey chap, hand transfer, and walk the dog. You will notice the walking the dog was quite easy. Thank you for watching. All right, Bill, so remember, if you have internal energy, and if you're gonna work this thing, remember, there's a couple of different techniques you can use here. There's double, same as hand check clear. This is always the fist, and so behind the wrist is pretty important. You got yin eye energy coming through the hand, you got yang energy running up the outside, so. Little pops, change from side to side. You can repeat this motion as long as you can. Now remember, I'm cutting with the hand, Bill. So each time I do that, I'm cutting deeper into the tissue of the body. I'm looking for a second move. That's always the beginning of your routine. So you can the go hand one. check clear, double bone strike with a drag. Don't forget, add a peanut out, out of your um, Joe number I number four, you have this glancing move. This rotation of the arm is going to protect the bone. So if you guys are going to have a long history of training, hurting yourself is not a, is not really a very good prospect. So learning how to strike, collect, turning yourself, moving, posturing, dragging back. Okay, now this little apparatus here does a lot of things for you. I work on shoe toes quite a bit. I like them, they fit this part of the face very well, fit the neck, fit the body cavity. So toughening your hands without injury, pretty important deal. Accuracy of strike is pretty important for you. So if you get hurt training, you're going too fast. You might not, you might not look how to get a little slower with your technique, but at the same time, that's a good idea. The tires here to reference, that you can only get so close. So when you see me getting up in here, I want to be moving that body. I'm going to come right up in here with my body and move on in there. Shoot toes are good. Double arm strike with a drag. Arm lift, double strike, left and right, up, in. These are all very good moves you can work with. I hope that helps you today. Good morning to Sangaku TV. This morning we discussed handshake clear, monkey trap, hand transfer, and body change, and even included walking the dog. These are going to be elements of uh, techniques that I will show down the road that are simple and easy to use and a great place for beginners to start. First off, I'd like to talk, take a second this morning to talk about standing up straight and bowing correctly, and I'm going to go into great lengths over the years of our conversation with why do we bow like we do with and without a sword in a dojo and some of the history that goes with it but this morning I'd like to focus more for you a little specialty item and we're going to talk to you about how to make a fist so we're going to zoom in here on my hands and we're going to say how does Kyoshi make a fist Kyoshi makes a fist from little finger and then the thumb comes over I'll do that again little finger and then the thumb comes over and then I squeeze. The exercise here at this point I'd like for y'all to start practicing is open the hand, close the little fingers, and then close the hand till you have a proper fist. And you do that bilaterally. So you'll do it with both hands at the same time. You'll squeeze your body to a count of 10. So that's your forearms, your arms, your chest, down your legs, even your toes. Close the hands. 
squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and open them in the eagle claw position, which is straight out, and the focus should be on straining the back of the arms, and again, incorporate your body and your core training. So, here we go, we'll do a couple. We're gonna close, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then relax, open, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax, close, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, close them, squeeze them, open them, ten count, and remember that the soul of karate is the fist. Arigato gizaimashita, and I hope you stay tuned for more.